Okay, so let's write our HTML for this project. Let's uh, open up our Cartoon Hero folder and drag it into Sublime Text. And the first thing that we're going to do is create a new file and we're going to save it as index.html inside our Cartoon Hero folder. And the reason why we call it index.html is because when the browser gets to a website, it needs to know which file should it load first. And it always looks for the index file. The next thing we're going to do is write an HTML tag and let Sublime Text fill in the rest. We're going to remove this small or we're going to remove this smaller than symbol. We're then going to start writing our HTML. So my character is Wreckit Ralph. Uh, I really, really enjoy him. So whoever your character is, it could be a cartoon character, an animated character. But if you're not into that, choose a movie character or choose someone else to do it on. It makes it a lot easier and a lot funner. So the next thing we're going to do is insert a link element and Sublime Text knows that it's a CSS one, which is great. So we're going to say CSS slash hero.css so it knows where to find it. Okay, I like to save as I go just in case the computer crashes or something bad happens. So that's our head element. Now I'm going to be referencing my box wireframe here and there. So let's see what I need to need to do. I need a header element first of all. So let me type my header element. And inside my header element, I need an image, which is a profile image, and a heading. Okay, so let's do my image tag, and my source is going to be image slash profile.jpg. And then underneath that, I'm going to create an h1 tag and call it wreck it. Rough. Fantastic. So that is my header. But now you'll see in my wireframe that I've actually got an outside container. And this is not the browser, this is actually a wrapper. So I'm going to create a new one called wrapper or a new div with the class of wrapper. And it's going to wrap all of my content. The next thing I'm going to do is create a div with a class of content and inside here I'm going to put all of my content. The next thing is a footer and even though in my preview or my wireframe there's no real box here for a footer and there's no real box for a content, I've decided that I should put those in. So your wireframe doesn't have to be super concrete, it just helps you plan. So the next elements I'm going to put is my footer. Alrighty. Now inside my content, what I need to do is I need to create an H2 for this title or this heading. I need to create a P tag, another H2, an ordered list with a bunch of list elements inside, an image, uh, a P with a class of caption, another heading, an unordered list with some list elements inside, and inside the footer I need to create a few elements which I'll use a list to create. Okay, so let's start writing this. So the first thing that I want to want to do here is just write about Ralph. And I'm choosing an H2 because there's already an H1 on the page. So these aren't as important as the H1, but they are fairly important. My next is a P tag. And inside this P tag, I'm going to write a little bit about Rolf. So an 8-bit video game bad guy who travels the length of the arcade to prove that 
He's a good guy. He also has massive hands. Alright. Hmm, we can take that one out, I reckon. Okay. The next thing I want to do is write about Rolf's characteristics. Characteristics. Here I'm going to use an OL. And inside the OL, we're going to create a few list items. So the first thing, he's super cool. The next list item, he's treated as bad ass. Cool. The next one, he's friendly to glitchy girl game characters. Doesn't start off that way, but it ends that way. Okay, so after our OL or our ordered list, we're gonna have a big image. So I'm gonna give this image a class of, hey, big image. It makes sense, right? And source of the image is gonna be also big image.jpg. After that, we're gonna get a P and we're gonna give it a class of caption. And in this caption, we're gonna say, this is Rolf in action. Okay. After that, I'm going to create another H2 and say Rolf's friends. Spelt correctly, of course. And here I'm going to use an unordered list, create a few list elements. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And inside here, I'm going to find a few of his friends. So the first one is Jake from Adventure Time. The next one is Blue from Foster's from, so that's Foster's home for imaginary friends. And the next one is Arthur from King Arthur's Disasters. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is quickly go find some links for those three guys in the Google Chrome. So let's type Jake from um, Adventure Time. Okay, it's gonna go a little bit. And yeah, this is one that I found earlier. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to Create a link around Jake. The href is going to be that. The target is going to be underscore blank. And the title is going to be visit Jake, visit Jake's page. I'm going to do the same for blue. So it's blue Foster's home. Cool, here's one that I found earlier. So let's copy this again. And inside here, let's create a link around blue. The href will be that I've just copied. The target will be underscore blank. And the title will be visit blues page. Visit lose page. Okay, the next one will be Arthur. Let's do the same thing for Arthur. Let's create a link around him. Again with a, an href, a target underscore blank, 
and the title of visit Arthur's page. Now we need to find a link for Arthur. I love Google, you don't have to spell too well. There we go. And let's copy that again. Go back to Sublime Text and paste it in the href. Okay, so that's pretty much our content. Now inside our footer, we just need a few little things. So I'm going to use an, unord an unordered list again with a few list elements or list items. I'm going to say made by rich. And then the next list item, I'm going to say made during a skill share class. And then finally, I'm going to say this list item should be copyrighted, even though I have no right to copyright it. It should be and or ampersand copy semicolon 2015. Now this is a special way of writing your copyright symbol. I'm going to put a link around, I'm going to put a link around Skillshare. And then I'm going to start filling in all of these details. So that's my website. Again, the target should be underscore blank and the title should be visit Rich's website. I'm just going to copy and paste all of this to make it a little bit easier for the Skillshare one. So visit Skillshare's website, the href is going to be skillshare.com. So that's pretty much our HTML, but we need to see that it's working. So let's go to our finder, drag index.html into Google Chrome, and it should be something like this. So we need to find two images. So I'm going to search for Wreck It Ralph. I'm going to go to the images tab. There's one really super cool one that I like. This is him. So I'm going to use this for my profile image. I'm going to save the image as, I'm going to go to Cartoon Hero. I'm going to create a new folder for all my images. It's great to store your CSS in your CSS folder and all your images in your image folder. So I'm going to call this profile.jpg. Fantastic. And then the next thing I'm going to do is look for a really cool big image. That might be a good one. Let me just see if there's any else. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. So I'm just going to click view image. And it's going to load. So while it's loading, I'm just going to put my test image into the image folder. And I'll keep the box wireframe one out just because it's not really part of the site. It's more of something to refer to. So here I'm going to save the image as big image, remember, dot JPEG. Fantastic. Let's see what happens now. So we've got our profile image. We've got the big image. It's really, really big. And that's our HTML. So from here, we can actually start styling the site in an amazing way. We can do a bunch of really cool stuff with it. Cool. So if you want, uh, open up GitHub Desktop and synchronize your files. But I'll only be doing that after the CSS video. Cool. See you in the next video.